minutes. A delivery driver walks right into a trap holding hot pizzas with less than 50 bucks in his pocket. He's robbed and killed. Deputies arrest the teens believed to be the killers. I'm Candace Crone. And I'm Dave Roberts. Douglas County investigators use a cell phone to track down suspects and make arrests. 19 year old Don Tavis McCain and a 16 year old, deputies won't name because of his age, will likely face first degree murder charges. Deputies also arrest 18 year old Larry Fountain for robbery. The Pizza Hut driver died on the sidewalk in a relatively new Irvington apartment complex just off Sorensen Parkway. Investigators call it a cold blooded random act. He just happened to be the one that was delivering the pizza that day. Pizza delivery man Christopher Taylor murdered for pocket change. The 33 year old worked for the 90th and 4th Street Pizza Hut. A delivery Friday night to an Irvington Heights apartment becomes his last. It was a robbery gone bad. Investigators say the suspects ambushed Taylor when he knocks on the door. There wasn't a whole lot he could do at that point because he was forced into the apartment. He was laying on his back and there was blood everywhere inside the apartment. A neighbor getting into her car finds the unthinkable. He was already out cold. He was just laying there. Eyes was rolled in the back of his head and everything. In the wake of Taylor's gruesome death, investigators discover a trail of evidence beginning with a cell phone. Shoe prints that were left, fingerprints that were left. We uh, were able to track down a vehicle that they used after the homicide and we were able to come up with some blood transfer from that vehicle as well. Deputies arrest and question Don Tavis McCain, Larry Fountain, and a 16 year old boy. Tonight, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office says two of the suspects already confess. The victim's parents live in Bellevue. Deputies called them while on vacation to share the sad news. To an apartment, then murdered during a cold blooded robbery. 33 year old Chris Taylor was just trying to do his job. He was a delivery man for Pizza Hut. Investigators say four robbers called him to a vacant apartment. At Sorensen Parkway in Ida on Friday night, police say they forced him inside, then viciously stabbed him to death after robbing just $25. Investigators say Taylor tried to defend himself. They found slashes on the pizza box carrier. Tonight, family and friends are remembering Chris Taylor. His parents just returned to Bellevue. They were on vacation when somebody called them to tell them the awful news. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Molly Graham live with more. Molly? Guys, Chris Taylor's parents actually gave us this picture here. They'll be giving us a statement tomorrow. Tonight, a customer of Taylor's, stunned by his murder, wants people to know what a friendly man he was. Chris Taylor loved to ski, play hockey, and watch funny movies, so he writes on his MySpace page. But Taylor, a Pizza Hunt delivery man, made his mark at work as well. Yeah, he was he was nice. Like you could he had a certain vibe to him. Paris Gaines got to know Taylor over the summer, ordering pizzas from Pizza Hut about a dozen or so times. Gaines tells me Taylor was always nice to him. He was shocked when he realized it was Taylor killed at this apartment. They had nothing to do with his life. Chris was like 33 or something like that, and they had nothing to do. He had nothing to do with them. They had nothing to do with him. Even though Gaines and Taylor weren't good friends, Gaines insists he seemed genuinely happy every time he showed up with a delivery. As to how someone could hurt him, let alone kill him over money made from pizza deliveries, just doesn't make sense. $25 for the life of a human being, I mean, that doesn't really add up at all. Gaines actually went to high school with one of the suspects, 18 year old Larry Fountain. Didn't know him well, but didn't know him as a troublemaker either. Molly Graham, KMTV, Action 3 News. $25 for a life. Quite a statement there. Douglas County Sheriff's investigators now say four teenagers carried out this brazen crime. They arrested a 16 year old boy today, but so far are not giving out his name. They believe he was the getaway driver. Another suspect, 16 year old Brighton Gibbs, charged as an adult with first degree murder. Prosecutors say Gibbs and another suspect, Don Tavis McLean, stabbed Taylor several times. McLean also charged with first degree murder. Prosecutors, though, call Gibbs the main killer. The fourth suspect, Larry Fountain, accused of placing the call to Pizza Hut and shoving the victim into the apartment when he arrived.